Hello friends, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, today I am going to make a video on exhaust gas recirculation EGR which is being used in the tractor. How it works, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using EGR technology. Uh, friends, this video will come in two parts, part 1 and part 2. Part 1, part one I am making today and part 2 will come tomorrow. Uh, this uh, technology EGR whatever I am talking about in this video that is uh, that is applicable for all diesel engine whether it is a tractor or car or truck or, or wherever it is. So if it is a diesel engine EGR can be used and technology is same in all the cases at the same time. Its uses and working principle, everything, advantages and disadvantages, everything will be same in all the cases. Okay, so it's not only limited to tractors, it is applicable to all the automobiles. Okay, so we'll see in detail what, what it is and uh, we'll see detailed analytical anal detail analysis of this technology. Okay, so moving ahead, uh, this is some information about me. So the answer of this question goes like this, EZR that is exhaust gas recirculation is one of the engine emission control method. You know that uh, there are uh, engines are running on uh, fossil fuels like diesel or petrol or whatever it is and uh, because of, of uh, burning of fossil fuel there are harmful emissions which are coming out of exhaust gas and uh, due to environmental pollution and uh, air pollution mainly you know the, the recent uh, guidelines and regulatory restrictions are increasing uh, vehicles already have uh, bs6 now going to be implemented and tractors also have similarly a new emission method like tram 4 is going to come so the to control the emissions mainly nox emission that is nitrogen oxide emission easier is being used okay so what it does is uh, a cooling and recirculating a part of exhaust gas which is coming out of uh, the muffler or uh, the exhaust pipe the recirculating that uh, a part of that exhaust gas again into the engine combustion chamber by mixing it with fresh air mixture to reduce NOx emission from the final exhaust emission okay so you what we are doing basically is we are uh, taking a part of exhaust gas mixing it with fresh air which is going inside the engine and uh, it helps to reduce nitrogen oxide emission which is coming out of uh, out of the engine uh, exhaust okay so basically now we will see how it works so if you see this is this is a cut out of cut out section of an engine engine cylinder this is a cylinder this is a piston which is moving up and down in a in a four stroke engine or this is basically cut out of a four stroke engine mainly tractors and automobiles mainly have four stroke four stroke diesel engines so it's a compression ignition uh, chamber uh, engine and you can see this is an intake valve and this is exhaust valve okay so from intake valve fresh air will come and from exhaust exhaust valve whatever burnt gas is there uh, after combustion that will go out okay so what is happening now you see uh, after combustion this exhaust valve will open and exhaust gas will come out of this uh, this port and it will go uh, go towards the exhaust muffler and uh, final exhaust pipe and come out of out of the engine or tractor or vehicle whatever it is so what we are doing in EZR we are taking a part of this exhaust gas okay so you can see uh, a part a, a different uh, module is provided over here so a part of exhaust gas is taken and then it will be uh, flown into EZR cooler so because exhaust gas temperature will be very high so you need to cool it a bit so you will take it first you will take it first into EZR cooler cool it a bit up to a required temperature and then from there it will further go to there will be a valve called EZR valve okay so this valve decide how much uh, percentage this valve actually opens or, or closes partially or fully uh, depending on the requirement of uh, EZR to be mixed with fresh air so it valves this valve will open and then EZR will enter into uh, into this chamber the fresh air chamber and from this side uh, fresh air is coming from environment okay now there are two more things one is ecu which is uh, basically the brain of the complete system complete engine or complete vehicle you can say this is called engine control unit ecu which is electronically operated and then this is uh, easy solenoid valve which will basically open or closes this this port vacuum ezr solenoid so engine control unit will decide how much percentage of ezr will be mixed with fresh air how much fuel will fuel will go inside this so everything will be decided by ecu 
okay so once the ecu has decided the percentage of egr this valve will open accordingly and that much amount of or that much percentage of EGR, exhaust gas will be mixed with fresh air and then this mixture will go into inside the engine okay so you can see the components of egr the new components which is going to be fitted onto the tractor or on on any vehicle is basically egr cooler okay this is the first component second will be will be your egr valve third will be your this uh, solenoid valve okay so mainly if you see ecu will will already be there in the engine if engine is there the electronic control engine control unit ecu is already there so you just need to uh, a little make a little bit tweak in ecu software to incorporate this egr uh, coding inside that uh, chip so that is what is required so mainly egr cooler egr pipes all these pipes and uh, valve will be there okay and th this will be integrated to to a muffler so these are the new things which will be incorporated apart from whatever usual things engine ecu muffler these things are already there okay so this is how this technology works egr technology just gas recirculation technology but uh, this is the basic working principle but now we will see in a little uh, in depth how what are the advantages and disadvantages and how it it is affecting actually the emission of engine so now if you see uh, what what are the constituents of engine emission so these are basically the gases which are coming out of exhaust out of engine after combustion so oxygen and water vapor the nitrogen uh, nitrogen in molecular uh, form also it is coming and then oxides of nitrogen are also coming then oxides of carbon in both co and co2 form it is coming oxides of sulfur sox is coming then solid carbon particles that is particulate matters these are coming apart from that soot and smokes all these are coming now here if you see oxygen is harmless nitrogen in molecular form is harmless water vapor is a potent greenhouse gas okay but it it's uh, life actually in atmosphere is very less that is why it is also considered as non harmful and also it is uh, contributing in rainfall and all those things so these two can be harmless now oxides of carbon when you see co2 co2 is a greenhouse gas which is actually increasing air pollution so it is also harmful but at the same time co is more harmful because it is poisonous and create health problems also okay so if you see uh, this co co2 these are both are greenhouse gases create air pollution at the same time this co is, has uh, uh, creating health issues also okay now going to second oxides of nitrogen and oxides of sulfur nox and sox these are very hard these two are very harmful extremely harmful these are very potent uh, greenhouse gases which is increasing global warming this uh, sox and nox both are uh, responsible for acid rains also sox directly and nox also to a little extent is, uh, is responsible for acid rains at the same time these both the both these gases are causing breathing problem and other respiratory problems in in human beings okay so these are extremely harmful gases now the last two the solid carbon particulate matters and soot and smoke these two are directly related with air pollution as well as health issue you might have been aware and might be knowing uh, this pm 2.5 and pm 10 if you are reading newspapers you might be reading every time when crop vegetable burning and uh, air pollution in delhi is coming this size of particulate matter is is coming in news very frequently so these all are uh, all are the uh, emission constituents of of a diesel engine and emissions from diesel engine is is one of the major source of air pollution in india contributing uh, more than 30 40% in in total air pollution especially in big cities okay so these are the basic uh, basic uh, introduction of emission constituents now moving ahead what is the problem with egr now if you see this is a basic fundamental graph which shows the emission characteristic of a combustion ignition engine that is a diesel engine now if you see on x axis this is air fuel fuel air equivalence ratio so basically when you are um, going ahead in on x axis if you are keeping a fuel uh, percentage same so this ratio is reducing it means that your air air content you are for same fuel you are basically increasing your air content okay so this air content is increasing okay and on this side you have noco and hc concentration so you can see that uh, nox emission is increasing with fuel air ratio and uh, at the same time hydrocarbon mind you hydrocarbon this sc is what we called uh, pm particulate matter or soot particle this is reducing this is reducing this is also slightly reducing so as you can see there is a trade off between nox emission as well as these two emission 
with hc it is the trade off is very huge with co there is little trade off that too in lower range of fuel air equivalence but in higher range uh, this all things are increasing so why this trade off is there because you see if you see the basic fundamental this nox to break this down you need to remove this oxygen okay so when we remove the oxygen that that type of reaction we call it reduction reaction okay and then if you see these two uh, to break this ch into co2 and this h into h2o you need to add more and more oxygens okay so that is basically oxidation reaction similarly to convert this co into co2 you need to add oxygen so these two are basically uh, oxidation reaction this is basically reduction reaction so and oxidation and reduction are always opposite of each other that is there is a trade off okay now when you increasing the air ratio so what you are doing more oxygen is available for to burn this hc so basically this um, oxidation is happening now that is why this this both will break but at the same time <coughs> if you have more air then more oxygen available then this nox uh, will increase okay so there is a trade off between these two now ezr is used used only to reduce this nox okay so that is the benefit of ezr technology but at the same time the disadvantage is that hc and co both percentage will increase okay so then the question comes uh, how much ezr how or how much percentage of exhaust gas we should use so that there is a optimum uh, balance between uh, this reducing this nox emission at the same time you should not increase hc and co beyond a certain limit okay so that that thing is required so basically what is happening is uh, when you increase this fuel fuel air equivalence ratio so basically what you are doing you are burning more and more fuel because uh, and this temperature also increases so the basic concept of ezr is you should dilute the air fuel mixture okay with any non reacting gas exhaust gases are already burnt gas or mainly they are non reacting gas where oxygen content will be very less so what it does is this gas absorbs the energy during combustion without contributing any energy input so net temperature inside the engine reduces so the basic principle is to reduce nox you need to reduce the engine temperature so now exhaust gas already have less oxygen available so if you mix exhaust gas the overall content of oxygen will reduce so now less oxygen is available for burning so less uh, little uh, less burning will happen and if little less burning will happen then temperature will reduce if temperature will reduce this nox the reduction reaction will happen this nox will break down but at the same time because of incomplete combustion this hc and co will increase so that is why it is very important to decide an optimum percentage of mixing of exhaust gas okay so that is how it works now th that is why again the question come how much is your percentage so is your percentage can be calculated like this where this uh, m is your is mass percentage of recirculated exhaust gas which you are recirculating or mi is total intake mixture okay and this is comes in percentage so basically if 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 100% or if 100 gram of is is the uh, total intake which is going inside the engine and if uh, 10 gram of ezr you are mixing then basically ezr percentage is 10 okay so that is how it works so but this is all about today uh, today we have seen what is ezr how the technology works and uh, what are the emission constant what it reduces and what are the difficulties so basically these are the problems with ezr technology one is it reduces only nox at the same time co particulate matter and soot particles might increase okay second thing is once this co pm and soot particle percentage will increase so basically you are increasing the carbon content in exhaust gas so those carbons will where it will go gases will come out but carbon particles which, which size is higher that they, they cannot come out of engine so those carbon deposits will those carbons will deposits on engine parts that is pistons engine rings and all those things and that will wear the various vital engine parts such as cylinder line or piston so if you use uh, higher percentage of ezr your engine uh, Uh, parts will wear out and apart from that fuel consumption also little bit increases although not significantly which can be controlled okay so these are the problems with easy air technology so again the question comes how much and that is why optimum rate of recirculation has to be defined but that we will see tomorrow so this that's all for today and uh, this will be concluded in part 2 which will come tomorrow okay so do stay tuned and do watch part 2 of the video which will be very detailed and lot of data will come tomorrow okay so thank you for watching stay safe stay healthy and enjoy working hard and do watch part 2 thank you very much